my name is Afton and I work in technical support here at IDT. Today I would like to design a set of PCR primers. Rather than using a standard design, I would like to choose the region in which my primers are located. PrimerQuest is the tool I will use as this tool allows for the most design customization. So the first thing we need to do is pull up the PrimerQuest tool. This can be found in the SciTools dropdown and is about halfway down this list. Once we get to this page, I can choose a way in which I need to enter the sequence I want to design against. I can enter the sequences manually by pasting them in FASTA format. I can download the sequences using a GenBank or Accession ID number, or I can upload the sequences in an Excel file. For this example, I'm going to paste in my, my sequence of interest that I would like to design against. As I mentioned, I don't want a standard design. I want to customize the region in which the primers are located. So after sh choosing show custom design parameters, I can begin to, to give the tools some parameters to design against. In this situation, I want the primers to be located in the first 40 and the last 40 base pairs. As you can see, this gene has a length of 226 base pairs. So if I want the, the tool to design outside of region 41 to 185, I would consider that as an excluded region. Essentially, an excluded region tells the tool that the primers can't overlap any region specified in the list. After typing 41 to 185 in this box, you can see that a black section populates in this custom target region. This indicates that that excluded region list is, is now located on that accession ID number. At this time, I don't want to change any other parameters, so I can click Get Assays. As you can see, the tool wasn't able to locate any assays with those specifications. Um, on this page, it will actually tell you the, region, the, regions, the reasons why no assays were found. The way this is read is that for this Ford primer, 261 possible designs were considered. 16 overlapped that excluded region. So since the excluded region isn't allowed to have any primer as part of that, those primer sequences were ignored. Then it also lets me know that 245 were outside the GC content range, and so none of these, param none of these primers met the design parameters. I could do the same thing for the reverse primer. There was 219 possible designs. 14 overlapped that excluded region that we gave the tool. One was outside the GC content range. And then 143 were outside of the TM range. So at this point, I may want to consider adjusting some of my parameters. Since I do still want the primers to be in the first 40 and the last 40 base pairs, I think I should probably relax the constraints for the GC content and the TM. So at this point, I am going to adjust the parameters that I gave the tool to design with in the first place, mostly the GC content and the TM range. So for the TM range, I will allow that to go up to 70 and the GC content up to 80. And, and then we can see if the tool is able to design within those regions once those parameters are relaxed. So once again, we'll click Get Assays. And as you can see, the tool was now able to design primers in that location. If we want to see the custom target regions again, we can allow those to populate up here. As we can see, the Amplicon does fully cross that excluded region list. Clicking View Assay Details will allow us to see those actual primer sequences. As you can see, the TM was uh, needed to go up to 68, and the, the GC content for that first primer did need to go up to 76.5% to allow it to design within that GC-rich region. Once again, that was designing a set of PCR primers within a specified region. If you have any further questions, please contact tech support here at IDT. Thank you.